The following video will demonstrate how to annotate the station, offset, and alpha code of survey points based on an alignment. As you can see here, I have already imported a survey file into En-ROADS and it is now in my uh, En-ROADS field book. As a first step, what I want to do is uh, write these points out as COGO points in my geometry project. To do so, I'll go to Survey, Survey Data to Geometry. We're going to give this project a um, new name. For our description, we're going to use the codes. The rest of this can um, remain unchanged. And we'll simply click Apply and close. Now in addition to me having these points uh, recorded in my field book, I also uh, have recorded these points in my Kogo buffer. So if we go to um, Geometry, Review Geometry Points, you can see that um, all the points now are um, actually Kogo points. So let's go ahead and display um, those Kogo points, just the uh, points themselves. We won't do any annotation at this time. Let's go ahead and display those in um, the design file. To do so, we'll go to Geometry, View Geometry, Horizontal Annotation. We will use the wildcard to include all of our points. We want to display just the points and we do not want to annotate them at this time. So we'll click Apply, Close, and you can see here that our points um, have been displayed based on their assigned style. Okay, the next thing we want to do is uh, just quickly define a horizontal alignment that we're going to use to base our station and offset off of. So we'll just put something um, in quickly and simply by going to File and New. We'll just give it a new name right here. We'll name this one um, just Baseline. And click Apply and Close. So let's add some PIs to that baseline by going to Geometry, Horizontal Curve Set, Add PI. And we'll just rough in a, a center line here. Okay. So you can see now that in addition to our Kogo points, we also have um, this horizontal alignment here, which we've named Baseline. Next we'll use the command Geometry, View Geometry, Station Offset Annotation. The method we want to use is Clearance. It's, you can see here that if it's set to Station Offset, uh, our points, we're not able to, to um, annotate points. So what we want to do is set that to Clearance. That activates our points. We can use the wildcard to get all of our points. When we click on annotation here, you can see that we can decide um, exactly what we want to annotate with regard to each point. So in our case, we're going to um, annotate the station. We're going to give that a prefix of STA, offset, left and right, and then elevation. We could use EL. Go back to the General tab, everything is selected here, and click Apply. And Close. And we can go in now and see that on that point we have our point name, our uh, alpha code, our station, our offset, and our elevation. 
If you find that you would like to make changes to the text symbology, uh, the color, the text size, etc., <coughs> simply go to uh, Geometry, View Geometry, Station Offset Annotation. We're looking here at point 1273. So what we want to do is go into annotation here and right here in the upper right hand corner you can click here and if we want to make it a little bigger we can do so. We can also change the color and if we want um, to make changes to the rota rotation we can do that as well. Click OK and click apply and there it is